Hi, I'm Jenny Stubbs and I coordinate the Readers' Cup in Queensland. This is one of the most important activities of the Queensland branch of the Children's Book Council of Australia. The competition began in 1986 when Judy Stiles brought it to South Australia from the United States. Then Jill Duffield brought it from South Australia to Queensland in 1995. The competition challenges children to read widely and work collaboratively and meet others who love reading as much as they do. We have 500 teams competing each year and that relates to over 13,000 books being read every year. My name is Karen Stokes and I'm the teacher librarian at Blair State School. I am also the regional coordinator for the Ipswich Readers Cup. Each year my team and I, along with advice from other teacher librarians from the local area, choose a variety of books from different genres. In the Ipswich competition we have between 10 to 15 teams competing. Last year Blair State School won the regional competition and went to the state final at the Brisbane Writers Festival. First meeting of the Readers' Cup team. I suppose you're wondering how you all got here, so I'll explain that process first. Some schools will hold a Readers' Cup competition in Term 1, and they'll get you to read different books and we'll hold our own Readers' Cup competition. And we have done that in the past at Blair, but we didn't quite get to that point this year. What I normally do is I find out if you're interested, and I knew that most of you would be, due to you know knowing you as I did, and then I look at your reading data. So all the stuff that your teachers collect, the tests you've done earlier in the year, the tests you did last year, all that sort of stuff. And I build up a bit of a picture on who, who's really good readers, who are really, really good readers in the school. And then I come to you and I say to you, Jessica, would you like to be in the Reader's Cup team? And then you get to choose whether or not that's a yes you would or no you wouldn't. And that's how the team was formed. How do you feel about being chosen for the Reader's Cup? I'm actually pretty excited. I like to read um, Del Toro Quest and um, I'm actually pretty intrigued by um, Northwood. That, piece. that seems pretty awesome. Cool. So, yeah. It feels exciting because I've always loved books my whole life. The books give me feelings like Goosebumps. It actually makes me feel like <laughs> they're real. I'm just reading the first one and I know I'm scared. <laughs> Are we taking a mascot with us? And if so, what is our mascot going to be? Oh, we will be we... taking a mascot and it is good to <laughs> it. Hello and welcome to Ipswich Junior Grammar School. My name is Faya Sacalaria and I'm the teacher librarian at Ipswich Junior Grammar School. I'm also on the Regional Committee for Readers' Cup. As a member of the Regional Committee, my role is to help select the books and also to help set the questions. The books we choose come from a number of different genres and are suitable for both boys and girls. We also try to choose books that are recent, quality Australian literature and particularly from authors in our region or area of Australia. Each year, Ipswich Junior Grammar School hosts Reader's Cup. Reader's Cup is held towards the end of Term 2 each year. It's a fiercely competitive competition and the students in Grades 5 and 6 have a lot of fun. So, I'm going to talk today about how our team was selected. So, at, at uh, Junior Grammar, we choose our team in Grade 5. So, you were chosen in Grade 5 from your results in your reading and it was your teachers who chose you in grade five. So I was very pleased to see that the five students they chose all want to be on the team, which was fantastic. <laughs> so I wanted to ask you, what does it mean to be chosen to be on the Reader's Cup team? And no answer is too silly. So go ahead, <laughs> tell me. Yes, Paul, cool. lead up. Okay, you're good at comprehension, which means <laughs> So you can really understand the book and you, yeah. you are very yeah. capable yeah. of reading a lot of books. Okay. Yeah. Does it make you feel good about yourself to be chosen? Yes. 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 Okay, so that's really yeah. important. Yeah. Do you have a team name? And 
A team mascot. Yes, yes the Super Reading Rats. Beautiful. You are going to need to decide who's going to read which books. So Damon, do you want to start putting up on the board up there the names of the books? I get North Yeah, I get North I really love this book. It is the best book I've ever read in my whole entire life. <laughs> it is just so good. Um, I thought that the front cover wouldn't really interest me, but I had to read it and then what was inside the book was just so good that I just couldn't stop reading. Do you think Reader's Cup has forced you then to read something you wouldn't normally have picked yeah, up and you read? Yeah, you your comfort zone and you just read all these different books that you know that you would have liked but you like them after. Team Super Reading Rats, how do you keep track of your reading? Um, well, sometimes I put sticky notes in my pages right. and then I go back and see and note down like what like what the, yeah, what the main points and stuff are. Mm -hmm. What I do is, when it, for example, when I started the first chapter of Star Del Toro, mm -hmm. I had no idea what was important yet. So I just mm -hmm. noted everything down. But as you go through the book and you understand what parts you'll need to know for Reader's Cup, you note it down and you can easily just turn those into questions to ask any other team member. Mildly, mildly. Do you feel you need to read a, a little bit yes. more of the books or make mm -hmm. more notes first and yes. then yeah. question yeah. each other? Yeah. I've read okay. this one. Because part of the process is that you question each other but I don't get involved in that as your teacher librarian. That's something for you to do. Uh, that's part of our idea behind this cup that you independently grow as a team and you question each other rather than your teacher becoming too involved in that part of it. Uh, but it's really good to see that you're all taking fairly seriously, making notes, thinking about questions and reading the books in some detail. So what would you hope to get out of the competition? I hope to, um, with reading the different types of books, find the type I do like because at the moment I still don't know what my type of book is. I want to read more books, I want to get out there and I want to find these books that I've, I'm interested in but I haven't read yet and, you know, test myself, see how good I am at reading and, yeah. I want to sh um, show other schools that I'm standing up for our school <coughs> and I want to also, like, meet new people and like see if they would like to talk or something. Does anyone would they just like to win a competition? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Fame and glory. <laughs>
46. Right. Why does Cecilia like the attic? Because it's made fully out of glass and you can see all of Northwood in... Northwood? Is that mm -hmm. the Yep, okay. <laughs> Including the forest, which she doesn't... which she didn't really like to look around because it was looked really scary. Yeah, and she, it makes her feel like a princess at the top of the tower. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. What is Sean the top of the class in what subjects? English, maths and science. What was the record time that Toby broke? Two minutes, Two minutes. 29 seconds and 42 milliseconds. No. What was the time that he broke? Not what time did he get? 2.30. 2 minutes 30. Yes! yes. <laughs> I would have never picked up this book. Like seriously, I would have never... Oh, okay, no. And I love it. I actually... That would have been me with On Track. Yeah, same book. On track. Track. On These track. two books, On Track and The One Only Ivan, they're amazing. <laughs> the first chapter of the book, you're just like, what on earth is this saying? Yeah. And, and then, then when you go on to the next chapter, it's just like, that's oh, like yeah, this book. That's so awesome. Huh? So we've got. <laughs> <it's, we've laughs> so, so what was your favourite then? On well, Track. On Track and your favourite so far? Um, I like Northwood, I guess. <laughs> I really like that there's Northwood, there's On Track, there's the one and only Ivan, and there's the Star of Del Toro, which and proves, and Midnight, but it proves that everyone has a different favourite. This is how today is going to work. Each round, there will be four of your school team competing. If you have a fifth member of your team, during that round, the fifth member of your team will go and sit down in the chairs that are right down the end there. You can swap a player or a team member after the end of each round. So the team that you're competing with will compete for the entire six questions. And then after that, if you wish to swap a team member, you can do so before the next round starts. It'll be very obvious that it'll be round two because Brian will announce that it is round two or round three or round four. So that will make it obvious that it's about to be a round change. Okay, we have some runners in the room who will pick up your pieces of paper, your answer sheets, once you have answered them. You'll hold these up in the air so that they know that you have them still. They will bring them to the top table for marking. Without further ado, I would like to introduce our guest author and, our, of course, our quiz master this morning, who is Brian Faulkner, whose book you have all, I, th I would trust, have just finished reading, so you should be completely knowledgeable about it. So I would like to um, give him a round of applause and welcome him to the Ipswich competition. Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys? I'm good. Thank you for asking. I thought you guys were never going to ask. No, I'm really good and it's really good and really exciting to be here at the Reader's Cup 2016. What an awesome day it's going to be today. What an amazing wealth of knowledge we have in this room. I hope you've all been studying really hard and you know all the answers and I wish every team in the room the best of luck with the competition. But before we get there, I get a chance just to tell you a little bit about me. All right, are we ready? Where's my timer? Oh, timer, are you ready? Adjudicators, whatever you guys are, are you ready? Round one. On track. What warning labels does Sean reference in his reflections? 30 seconds.
Question two. Star of Del Toro, Shadows of the Master. What did Britta trade her lantern for? Those answer sheets in the air. Hands in the air like you really do care. The answer is, on track, what warning labels does Sean reference in his reflections, traces of nuts? Question two, what did Britta trade her lantern for pottery candles? Question three, what did the little boy say that was most memorable about Ivan? He must be the loneliest gorilla in the world. Question four, which I got wrong when I tried to answer it in my head before. Um, three astronomers at the council have new jobs named two. Potter, Baker. What season was it? Question five, what season was it? Did you die in the night to join the war? It was winter. Yeah. Question six, where were Guy and Midnight reunited? It was Cairo. The winners of the 2016 Reader's Cup, and it has been an incredibly closely fought contest. There was two points between first and then second, third and fourth. Very, very close. So third place in getting a bronze medallion from Brian in about two seconds is Blair State School. Second place, getting a silver medallion, is Sacred Heart. All right, and the winners are first place to Peak Crossing. So come up and get your trophy. Congratulations. The new school trophy, as you can see, there is a small school trophy. Um, each year we've decided now that we're going to give a small school trophy that can stay in the school. The perpetual trophy that used to be the large trophy that's behind is going to be replaced. And from now on, the perpetual trophy will be this piece of artwork, which we'll be having um, framed. And then you can hang that into your, in your school for the 12 months, and then you've got to bring it back for the next 12 months. Thank you very much, and I look forward to seeing you in 2017. <laughs> know your general knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Read the books and understand everything. Try yeah. to understand everything. If you don't understand it, go ask your parents. Yeah. Yeah. Way more effort and like go over them a lot. And not more. being so nervous and working as a yeah. No, rule number one: don't be so nervous because you'll feel sick after. Yeah. <laughs> it was really good on the other teams and it was just really good how you worked as a team together and it's really good because you learn different like cooperation skills with your team if this answer didn't work out with this person and you like join two answers together and you ended up getting it right so it was really good.
congratulations to the other teams. Yeah, they will yeah. get to go for ice cream. <laughs> yeah. yeah, ice cream.